Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make a IP camera online without any NVR or DVR. Here I will be using a new Higvision IP camera which is nothing but a 2 megapixel IP camera Higvision. So I am going to use this new camera to avoid any intermediate steps. To do this experiment, we need a IP camera, need a patch cord, a 12 volt power supply, one router to access the internet and definitely a laptop or computer for doing the various settings on the IP camera. So let's first unbox the IP camera. So I am unboxing the IP camera. So you need you get some accessories with it some waterproof waterproof sockets and this is the camera. So this is the 2 megapixel uh, Higvision camera. Now here one thing is very important to note here you have some serial number starting with SNK SNK starting from K1437 numbers. This number is very important. It will be required to enable the online setting for camera. Either you may enter manually this serial number or you may scan the this QR code to access the camera. Now let us do the physical connection. First we connect the patch cord in camera end and another side should be in a computer end and we connect power supply to the power socket of the camera. So once we do this our physical connection is complete. Now we have to configure the camera using a tool called SADP. SADP is the Higvision toolkit. We can be used to configure the camera. Now we go to the computer terminal. Now I have opened the SADP tool in my laptop terminal. Now I just get good, uh, do the refresh and once we do refresh we should get the camera in the terminal. As you can see one camera is appeared. 192, 168, 1.64 and this is in the inactive mode. You can see this is in the inactive mode. So we have to active the camera. For that we need to select the camera and then we have to insert a password for it and we have to confirm it. So let me set the password. So. I am setting up the password. So I have set the password and I click on this active icon. So once I click on the active icon, it shows the device is activated. I am not changing the IP address. Now it is very simple and one step mechanism you have to click on this enable HIC connect. Until and unless you enable this HIC connect, you will not be able to online the camera. So I have to click on this act enable HIC connect. Once you click it will give you the or it will ask for your set a verification code. This verification code you need to enter in your mobile phone whenever you want to see the camera. So let me set the verification code. So I have set the verification code and so this verification code will be required while accessing the camera through the mobile phone. So I have already uh, enabled the camera, activated the camera and also I have enabled the HIC connect mechanism. So that is all we complete the steps. So finally what you have to do, you have to give 
password that administrative password before exiting the particular application so just click on modify by entering the password now is showing setting network parameter success and hit connect is enabled so it shows the hit connect is enabled now so don't forget to give the password and click on the modification icon so our ip camera is set now now we go to the next step now for remaining entire process we do not require the laptop i have opened the patch cord from the laptop side now i will connect to the this router port so you can see this is the master port and these are the slave ports i can connect anywhere in the router so i just connect so though in the ports internet is available so now my camera also in online now we have to go to the mobile terminal now we need to install the required app for this we need to go to the play store and in play store we have to search ibms 4500 or 45400 anything you can search you can search 4500 or 4000 no problem so once you search so you can get this app you can easily though i have already installed it is showing open otherwise you can install the particular app from here so after after installing the app you can open the particular app from your mobile so i am opening the particular app now here we need to do some settings you need to click on this the three bar at the top left corner and here you have to add the particular camera so you have to click on this plus sign once you click it will ask for the either you can enter manually or you can scan here i will prefer to scan the code so i will take the camera and i will search for it we scan the barcode once we scan the barcode see it has detected the particular camera we have to click on add plus sign and now it is asking for the verification code we need to enter that particular code which we entered during setting up the camera in the sdp tool so i give the verification code and it will be ready within a second so it is now ready now you can see out of four camera it is highlighting that means this device is online now we have to click on the particular device and here at the button you can see there is a live view option if you just click your camera will be live view after giving the verification code so once you confirm the verification code it will be online so as you can see in a bold letter the camera is showing it is online remaining three are offline i click on the camera and now i click on this live view at the button so once we click on the live view now see the camera is online we can see the we can see the camera it is uh, totally online so this is the simple way we can online a camera without any nvr or dvr so hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and like my channel thank you